to talk to you today about how to properly check your oil level. Yeah. What's going on everybody? Little guy here, truck boss show. Um, I know this is gonna sound silly, but we're here to talk to you today about how to properly check your oil level. And you know, uh, a lot of people know how to do this, but there's a lot of people that make the dumbest mistakes, the simplest mistakes, and they don't even realize what they're doing wrong. Okay? I'm gonna show you what people do wrong, okay? First thing is you gotta make sure you have something to wipe your dipstick with. And you gotta have your engine off, okay? to get a properly complete accurate measure of your oil level the engine should be sitting in the off position for about an hour okay best time to check your oil is uh right in the morning the engine off engine cold because all the oil settles down into the oil pan okay that way you get an accurate measurement don't do it while the engine's running because it's not going to be completely accurate. Oh, first thing you want to do after you turn the engine off, all that good stuff, you want to grab your dipstick. Hold on, let me get a paper towel first here. Grab your dipstick. And you want to wipe it off, okay? You don't want to just check it. Oh, okay. You want to wipe it off first. You want to wipe it off first, okay? Make sure it's clean. See, no oil on there. Then put it back in all the way down, all the way, and then back up. When you pull it back up, this is the important thing. Make sure you keep the dipstick either pointing down or horizontal like this. My oil level is perfect. The reason I say keep it horizontal or vertical down facing down like this is because I see guys going like this I see them going like that and check their oil now uh, reason why you don't do this is because the oil is running down the stick and you're gonna get a you're gonna get an inaccurate reading okay that that's not how you check your oil okay Make sure you keep your, your dipstick like this or down, okay? And then you check your level. But the main thing is just clean off the dipstick so that way you don't have any oil on the stick. That way you can see exactly where the level is. Because when the engine's running, the oil sometimes goes up the stick, bounces around on the stick, all that, you know, and you're not gonna get an accurate reading. So, Part of your pre-trip to check your oil, okay? Turn the engine off, let it sit for a little bit, keep the stick, the dipstick, facing down or horizontal. Horizontal is the best way. But obviously as it's coming out of the tube, it's gonna be vertical. But as soon as it comes out, keep it like this so you can get an accurate reading. See that? Because if you go like this, gravity's gonna do its thing and uh, you're not gonna get an accurate reading. I, I know, I like I said, I know in the beginning, the beginning I said, uh, it sounds a little silly, but believe me, I've seen a lot of guys go like this. They just pull the dipstick out, don't even wipe it off. They're, oh yeah, there's oil on the stick. Okay, good. No. Problem is, if you don't have the proper level of oil in the, the engine, you're not going to be feeding the engine its vital blood. You got to look at oil like blood in your body, okay? If you don't have the right amount in there, it's not gonna get up to the top of the head, the valves, rockers, all that stuff, and you're gonna you're gonna burn up bearings, you're gonna burn up seals, you're gonna burn up valves, uh, rings. I mean, there's all types of things that can go wrong if you don't have the right amount of oil, especially when you're going up a mountain or something like that and the oil in the pan is like this or like that sloshing around 
and it's not getting proper suction, you know, you could be losing oil pressure if you don't have oil in there, you know? A loss of oil pressure for anything more than 30 seconds, because you know how sometimes going up a mountain, it takes time, right? Well, if you don't have enough oil, and the pickup tube isn't picking up an oil because the oil is all one side of the, the uh, oil pan and you're losing oil pressure, anything more than 30 seconds and you'll burn up your engine. You could burn up your engine. So that's why check your oil, make sure you got the proper level and also make sure you got the proper oil pressure on the gauge because oil pressure and coolant temp are the most important things to keeping an engine running. That's my two cents for today. A little guy for the truck wash show. See you next time.